Chapter 7 Special Functions In this chapter, four options of usage are presented. A. Emergency lighting B. Energy efficient lighting through presence triggering C. The usage without KNX and D. The standby switch off feature A. Emergency lighting You will learn about the applicable standards and terms, the configuration with centralized battery supply and single battery operated ECG and how to carry out the checks in the case of single battery self-contained ECG. 1. Standards and terms. In public buildings, precautions must be established which fulfill the legal safety requirements in case of an emergency. As for the lighting system, that means there must be luminaries which provide sufficient light for the escape ways to enable everyone in the building to get safely out. Four different groups of regulations exist. Some of the standards and regulations have statements in more than one of these groups. At first, the type of building matters, how an emergency lighting system has to be designed. It is also in most cases a matter of national regulations, for example for factories, hospitals, office or sports buildings, etc. Then the installation standards need to be heeded. With the European standard 5172, 5272 and the European standard 1838, we have three standards which apply here among others. The definitions of emergency lighting systems are to be found in ES 1838. Actually, when we talk about our DALI gateways, we talk about safety lighting, which can be safety lighting for escape ways, anti-panic lighting and safety lighting for workplaces with high potential of danger. As third group, we must know about the device standards. Among the always matching general standards about the properties of lighting devices, there are the European Standard 5171, Central Power Supply Systems, and for DALI, the European Standard 62386, Part 202, they are applicable for the ballasts. The fourth group are all regulations which deal with inspection and maintenance for such systems. The ES 5172, for example, mentions the requirements for the periodical tests, which are described more precisely in ES 62034. 2. Configuration with central battery operation. As mentioned before, all DALI ECG support the safety lighting option in general. That means if the control line, that means the DALI bus, doesn't operate anymore, which usually happens when the main supply for the DALI gateway fails, the ECG will switch into the so-called system failure level if it is still under power, now by safety power supply. So all the system integrator has to do here to set the required light level parameter in the ECG's options. Additionally, with the Siemens DALI gateway, it is possible to analyze a partial failure of mains, or with other words, a small number of ECG which at this moment still does not lead to general switch over into safety lighting mode. So you can set a counting level for failed ECG, which would cause a message to be sent on KNX if this level is reached or exceeded. There is a communication object on each DALI gateway which can send this message 
so it is kind of pre-alarming. It can be used on a visualization and for a messaging system which sends warnings. Emergency operation and synchronization. All Siemens Dali gateways possess a central communication object, emergency operation number 36, together with the parameter setting of either groups or ECG, behavior in emergency mode, it is possible to set all emergency luminaires into a certain emergency operation level at the same time by approach value. As a use case, the before mentioned message partial device failure can be used to trigger this object. With single battery operated ECG. According to ES62034, there are function checks and endurance checks, which do not only have to be carried out, but also recorded very precisely. A function check must be carried out at least once a month and must not last longer than 10% of the capacity of the battery. The endurance check must be run at least once a year and must prove that the battery is still good to operate the luminaire at least for 180 minutes. Our Dali Gateways Plus N14103 and Twin Plus N14121 can carry out these checks fully automatically. Since it is necessary to record the results, they also will store the values in a non-volatile memory space for a longer period of time. These test results then can be retrieved by service personnel from time to time, thus fulfilling the legal requirements. 3. Running the prescribed recurrent checks. The settings for the checks must be made individually for each ballast of type 1. As such ballasts also have an internal counter, which will be set by the DALI gateway, they will start the timers for the checks right after download. Normally, nothing else has to be done about it. The automatic check runs will be carried out according to the parameter settings. They will be run by random on the calculated days and especially the endurance tests also not all at the same time as this can cause severe problems in case of a real emergency. However, if the facility management wants to run these tests manually, the automatic function can be switched off also in the parameter settings. The duration test parameters must be both set to zero. For manual test triggering, two communication objects are available. The individual simple test control object, here number 631, one byte, with the result object, here number 632, three byte large and the extended test object 735 for channel A, which comprises 10 bytes. While the simple test objects come along with each emergency ECG, the extended object is unique for each channel. That means that the ballast number is encoded in the extended test result. All these objects are of the composed type, so if they should be used with a tool like a visualization software, this tool must be capable of object value splitting, as well as having a database to store all the results, like the EPAS Cambridge Studio Evolution software. Let's do a sample using object 631 test control. To start one out of the four possible ones, you must send this byte with just one bit set for the required test. The even bits start the tests, the corresponding odd bits return the feedback test running bit set one, and 
test terminated, bit set zero. Only one test call is allowed at the same time. All other byte values will be ignored. The test result always comes back on the direct following object, here the 632. To start a test from the ETS group monitor, you must send an 8-bit telegram. As data point type, you must use 5010 integer unsigned or just the raw hex value. Here are the codes 01 hex or 1 decimal equals function test. 04 hex or 4 decimal equals partial endurance test. 10 hex or 16 decimal equals long endurance test and 40 hex or 64 decimal equals battery test. The return codes for these tests are 02 hex or 2 decimal for function, 08 or 8 decimal partial endurance, 20 hex 32 decimal for long endurance and 80 hex or 128 decimal for battery test. If a test fails, then the 3 byte result telegram also mentions this. In this example, I have started a function test. You can see the telegrams running on the bus. Value 1, then 2, and finally 0. After a while, the 3 byte result pops up. FD 0001, which means battery status 99% full, function test OK. After a short while, also the extended test result telegram is sent. It contains the 3 byte result in the end, as you can see here, plus ECG short address and the timestamp starting from year including everything down to the seconds. Here you can see the complete details which are contained in the 3 byte result. The high byte returns, as already mentioned, the battery capacity in percent, FF means 100%, if a battery or a function check was made. It would otherwise contain the discharge time if an endurance test was performed in multiples of 2 minutes. If the battery endurance was too short, bit 3 is set, together with bits 9 and or 10. This short endurance test was successful, as the error bit 3 remains 0. It has been running 4 minutes plus minus 1. In general, the low byte of the test result tells you which test was terminated and if an error has occurred. In case of an error, the error type is shown in the middle byte, as you can see in this list.